I know that this is the moment that y'all have been waiting for ever since I did my first Hasbun Hotel Songs video. And I'll be honest, I've been waiting for it too. I say that like, I don't have control of my content. I don't. The content gods are forcing me to do things. Please send help. I need it now. <laughs> That's just a joke. <laughs> but it's about time that I start watching Hasbun Hotel. We're watching the first episode now. To be clear, not the pilot. I did watch that like... I don't know, two years ago? I don't even know at this point. Time is nothing but an illusion! But I'm actually really excited for this. At this point, I've listened to almost every Hasbun Hotel song, but finally getting context and getting to see what the plot is like is just, oh, I feel like this is gonna be glorious. Before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear fully uncensored over there if that's your thing. There's a link in the description below. There's also a link to my Discord server, which you should join. I would love to see you there. So the name of this episode is Overture. Once upon a time, this feels like a Disney movie. Golden Gates, known as Heaven. It was ruled by beings of pure light. Yeah, I'm already skeptical. And shielded all from evil. But they are the evil. He was a dreamer with fantastical ideas for all of creation. But he was seen as a troublemaker <laughs> by the elders of Heaven. Right, and that is her dad. I remember that. So he watched as the angels began to expand the universe in their ways. From the dust of earth. Is this Adam saying, wait, the angels created, didn't they say that they worshipped God? So God didn't make the world in this, it was the angels? And also, does that mean that the angels made hell? But despite this, Adam demanded control, and Lilith refused to submit. Right on, Lilith. Lucifer found her, and the two rebellious dreamers fell deeply in love. Oh, I like these changes. Offering the fruit of knowledge to Adam's new bride, Eve, for with this single act of disobedience, evil finally found its way into Earth. As punishment for their reckless act, heaven cast Lucifer and to, love to hell? Pit he had created. Or is that Earth? Talking about the Earth pit. But Lilith thrived, empowering demonkind with her voice and her songs. Okay, I mean Lilith sounds kind of dope. I'm not gonna lie. Heaven made a truly heartless decision that every that? year they would send down an army, an exterminator. Every year. To ensure hell and its sinners could never rise. Oh my God. Okay. Well, yes, the angels are evil. And her dream was passed down to their precious daughter, Charlie, the princess of hell. Don't worry, mom. <laughs> the closing of the storybook reminded me of the start of Shrek. I kind of love it. I'll make you proud. Charlie? Ah! Ouch! Why did that make me jump? I get pretty worked up after an extermination happens. Oh my god, so the extermination literally just happened. That is messed! I'm fine, just thinking, you know, family stuff. Did you hear from your mom yet? If she, wait, hold on, she's their daughter. That means that she's been there since what, the dawn of time almost essentially? Which means she's also survived through all of these exterminations that happen yearly. So I don't know, is she immune to them or something? This kingdom was something she really cared about. Something I care about. And she just hasn't come back? I just hope what I'm trying to do here will work. It will. I have faith in you. <laughs> I love the one-eyed cat, it's so adorable. Alistair says he has something to show us. I, I, I just still inherently don't trust Alistair, so if, if he's showing them something, I'm like, mm -mm, don't go. Well, there you wait with sinner. Do you like okay. violence and depravity of the <laughs> nature? Of course you do, that's why you're in hell. All right, what an advertisement. If I told you there was a place to stay that had none of that. Is this the hotel? Well, the has been hotel. <laughs> Five days ago by Lucifer's delusional daughter. Delusional daughter. Why is he just roasting us? She tries to work through her daddy issues by fixing you. Wow. I mean, I guess I don't know what I expected from a demon, but he's being really mean. Enjoy riveting conversation <laughs> with our singular resident. Wow. <laughs> wow, we. I mean, you know, I'd still just want to chill with him. Your last desperate attempt at salvation starts here. We still don't have a working fun. Can't they get anything though? I'm sorry. What the f was that? It's very blunt, very straight to the point. Alistair, I mean, first off. One note, uh, you make it sound like a nightmare. In hell, somehow. Maybe the tone is a bit off. Why is he glaring like that? This makes it look, um... Bad. The word you're looking for is bad. I still don't 
think I like Alistair. I mean, I like him as a character, but damn, he does not seem like a good dude. I mean, again, obviously, demon, hell, I'm not stupid, but even by hell standards, I don't know. Honey, I was going for hilarious. It didn't explain anything about how we're trying to save- <laughs> It just tried to drive people away. The commercial was to let sinners know we are trying to help them. Well, my dear- He's like, what is- what is the concept of help? Everyone remembers me from my radio show, the proper medium to express oneself. <laughs> okay, Grandpa. So I had a little fun with it. Oh, fun? You had a little fun with it? Well, this is not what we want. Why didn't they just make it? I don't understand. They would be able to capture the tone perfectly. Nobody's gonna want to come to a place that a powerful overlord like- Is everyone gonna like flood there after this? Oh, hello. He was just chilling there. Can I suggest you take better advantage of that talent? <laughs> He's like, sell it with my sexiness. I'll have the horniest sinners knocking these walls But down. is that the kind of sinners they want? I'm not filming a porn as a commercial. I mean, it would probably work in hell, right? If you film me going at it with Mr. Fancy Talk Creepy. <laughs> with Alistair? Oh my god. Never going to happen. <laughs> He's like, no, thank you. Appreciate you wanting to use your special skills. Bro, she's being so diplomatic. Like, just be real. I really don't want to exploit you in that way. Oh, please, baby. You don't need to lie to him. To oh my god. Girl, like... I got the stamina. I mean, knowing what I know and what's happened to this guy, like, hearing him talk like this is so depressing. Like, after everything he's been through, he feels like that's his only worth. I got the legs, I got the lung capacity. The lung of... for holding a breath. Gag reflex, the holes, the chest... Bro, uh, relax. Go take a cold shower. <laughs> Hello? Dad? Is it an uncommon thing that they talk? If Freaky Face over there is so powerful, then why can't he just make people stay here? Oh, trust me, I can't. Uh, but he won't? I think I'm here. You're oh, it's him! I'd be cleaning bottles and listening to you <laughs> bitching. <laughs> Loser baby guy, what's his name? I can't remember. H H Husk? Husk something like that, right? That bottle down your throat. He'd like that. Yeah. yeah. I, I was gonna say, for Angel Dust, that's just threatening him with a good time. And no, we can't force sinners to stay here. They need to choose. Right, I guess that would defeat the point. And I think it's all stupid. We're in hell. And yet you're still here, right? Just because nobody has made it out before doesn't mean it's not possible. Hey, whatever means I can keep crashing here rent-free. <laughs> if the angels, and I guess the demons, can, like, create all kinds of different things, why wouldn't they think, hey, maybe we can create something different or a whole new system? I mean, obviously we have these evil angel overlords oppressing us, but... Still, the idea of something being possible is not, like, outlandish, right? Although I guess maybe it's less about it being a reasonable thing and more that everyone has kind of just accepted their fate at this point and working to change that is too hard? Yes! <laughs> what did her dad say to her? My dad just called. He said that the leader of the angel army... Uh, I was gonna say a meeting with the angels. But the extermination just happened. <sighs> What could they want? To talk about the hotel. Do this. Oh. Somehow I know it. We got, oh. I'll get heaven behind my plan. Oh, okay. So I'm pretty sure this is that song, A Great Day in Hell or whatever. But just so you know, like I said, I've already listened to almost all the songs from this. So I'll link the video down below that has this song in it. It's a happy day in hell. Well, I was right with the title. Wire I was, oh, it's that guy. Isn't he in Hell of a Boss? Or someone that looks like him a lot, I guess. But also, I was gonna say, like, the dumbest thing in the world, which is, man, this doesn't seem like a very nice place to live. Does it? Does hell? Does hell not seem like a nice place to live, Matthew? Also, my man's got nipple tassels. On love heart nipples? I'm not doing well. <laughs> That's so simple. It's such a to the point lyric. I love it. Insane voice, my god. Oh, wow. Hearing her coming over the top two? I love delayed harmonies so much. So, if these people are dead, do they just not exist anymore? Oh, is this from the extermination? Oh, that's sad. Okay, what the hell is a change? Why is she just hanging on this truck? Oh god. I love the s <laughs> God, I try to comment on anything about her voice and people are just swallowing arms. 
Oh god, and it's swollen. Just give me more nice notes. I can focus on that. <laughs> I love the sheet music in the background. Is the meeting not gonna be as good as she thinks? Change their minds. And touch my parts. Uh, no, Please thank don't you. just, just gonna... do that. He looks so disappointed. Oh, now Ang. Yes, I hate him. God, I love the grit on that. So, see people killing each other. Like, if someone dies, does that mean that they're gone fully? Or can only the angels exterminate them? Hello? Wait, there's just an angel headquarters here in hell? Hello? God, she's in danger. I don't know. Oh, okay. I'll oh, it's an embassy. Okay, that's so strange. Uh, she's just happily walking in. I don't know. I wouldn't trust it at all. What's up? God, stop making me jump with random things. My dad asked me if I could meet you. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, it's nice to meet you. Did he just... Totally. Nice what, to meet you. What did he do with that pencil? Yeah, I know. Okay, well... Oh, it's not a pencil. It's, nice. it's some It's some sort of food. Nice to meet you, too. I thought he just shoved a pencil up his nose. That's a hologram? Oh, my God. This keeps throwing me every time I say anything. You think I'd come down there? <laughs> no, I mean, I love the vibe. Totally. I love your tunes. Pretty fucking hardcore, don't get me wrong. <laughs> But it's such a bummer, man. See, I was gonna say that in the same way that if I was Charlie, I would be like, oh, I'm not gonna just walk into the Heaven Embassy. I could not imagine that Heaven would send anyone down to hell. Would they just constantly end up being attacked? Especially since they're, you know, exterminating people. Also, I don't know if it's just me. I mean, I guess the angels aren't meant to be good in this, but I guess they're presented as good because hell is bad and the angels are kind of opposite to them, but the story clearly isn't painting them as good guys. But they don't even just not seem like good guys. They seem kind of evil they even they even look like demons bro i guess that makes sense i mean in this story functionally there's not really any difference between angels and demons demons are just the ones that have been cast out by the angels so i'm happy we got this opportunity to meet the he's not gonna listen to a word right i really want to talk to you about hey surely he already knows about husband hotel slow down we got time how about we get to know each other a little uh, do not trust him even slightly here's my personal favorite you'll they're just ribs it. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I knew it was... Yeah, wow. Well, what an asshole. Again, bitch! <laughs> Call her bitch! <laughs> this dude's meant to be an angel. So while she's gone, we are making a new... They're trying to be productive. So, we need a camera. Oh, man. Master. I can't tell if they're actually going to pull it off. <laughs> oh, my God. The old timing camera. All right, let's do this. You couldn't spring for something better? Action. Welcome to no, the they're gonna turn it. Hotel. I know where Angel is gonna go with this. I've been a bad boy, and I need a big, strong daddy to. God, Angel, keep it in your pants. You come. Oh yes. To the right place. <laughs> Cut. I love how Husk is just having none of it. Angel, I need you to be less horny <laughs> if possible, and Husk. Can you if me possible, not no, me? not possible apparently. I can't memorize this shit. Well, we could improv this shit, oh baby God. cakes. Is Angel just always hitting on everyone? I assume so. So I was playing this gig, and for some fucking reason, this virtue chick. Charlie's like, I do not care, bro. Can we talk? I'm fucking Adam. I'm the original. Oh. All dicks right. descend from me. He's he's Adam, like Adam and Lilith slash Eve. I'm the dick fucking master. <clears throat> man has a has a complex. Wait, your name is Adam? Like the first man, Adam? That means. Did she not know that? That explains so much. What? What does it explain for her? Call me Dick Master. Adam. Uh, I will absolutely not do that. I know you are the leader of the angels, and you are a big thinker, a revolutionary. <laughs> She's trying to flatter him. Who would really love to put his name on something? <laughs> oh my god. Kind of love him though. No, our other biggest problem. The extermination? Uh, ugly people? Oh god. I hate him now. Wait, I just said I love him. Now I'm confused. <laughs> what is that? Nifty. Nifty. Your line is we have the uh, Wait, hold on. Does that mean cuz all the demons like all the souls in hell have different weird forms, right? Like every one of these characters we meet is some sort of demon human thing right what about all the other living creatures like is charlie's cat was that a human before that cockroach that she's trying to stab is that was that a was that a human just a particularly bad one also i don't think at any point in any of my husband hotel videos have i mentioned it but the x over her eye slash hair i don't it's it's strange i don't understand it but i won't question it oh she's camera shy that's adorable 
Now it's creepy. Now it's very creepy. Cut. Uncomfortable. How is that? <laughs> well, Nifty, you actually have to say the line. Uh, I love her. Oh my god. <laughs> She's just freezing up. She's so cute. Seems like you're having a bit of trouble there. Hmm? Oh, I guess been... Why is he just taunting her? I came here because I love seeing waste. Yo, what are the shadow people? Accomplish something meaningful and fail spectacularly. Okay, asshole. And here is Alistair, the egocentric piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I wouldn't try that, my dear. That was horrifying. This face was made for radio. So it can't be filmed? I don't care who or what you are. If you're staying here, you're gonna make this work. I thought she was gonna kick him out. so entertaining to watch over an empty hotel, will it, shit ass? <laughs> the amount of weird insults, I love it. You think I'm that stupid, making a deal with a demon like you? Not for your soul, just a simple deal. Don't trust him. Why would you? I do this for you, and you never ask me to engage with this frivolous television technology <laughs> ever. That's all he cares about, is not filming stuff? Why are those the options? Just do it without him. What the hell? Did he just create an ad out of- okay. <laughs> Imagine being any of these other characters just suddenly teleported here against your will. You know, when you take her out for the fifth- She's like, oh my god, shut up! Hey, I thought you wanted equality! No, our shared problem of overpopulation in hell. Uh, <laughs> God, he's still talking about that. We got that covered. Loot, how many demons did you kill this year? Got a good 275 this year, sir. Oh my God, that's so many from one person. How powerful are they, though? Uh, no, not awesome. Those are my people. Yeah, like, is there a big functional difference between the power of angels and demons? Because how are they just able to slaughter? Like, can't the demons just fight back? I mean, I guess that's what ends up happening. Not those are my people. Yeah, that's how callous these angels are, man. That must suck for you. <laughs> wow, what an asshole. Human souls just the same as the ones you have up in heaven. And just the same as them, right? They had their chance and they earned damnation. You're wrong. Sinners made mistakes, sure, but everyone makes mistakes. Again, this reminds me so much of The Good Place and I love it. Angels don't make mistakes. Oh yeah, angels don't make mistakes like killing 275 souls? The only reason you're still here is because daddy gave you and your hellborn kind a pardon from an exorcist blade. How does that feel? Okay, so she is immune. Oops, almost out of time. Guess we should get into it. Oh! She hasn't even oh. talked about her project. They just don't care. Oh, this song as well. <laughs> also, just again, I have listened to this song in a video. I'll link that down below too. If we rehab these sinners and cleanse all their souls. Man, I'm so ready to hear Alex Priman sing again. Save us all precious time. I love the like weird grit to his voice. It's so nice. Sorry, sweetie, but there's no defiance. So condescending too. Because the rules are black and white. There's no use in trying to fight it. Still, like, why is everything so black and white? There's no gray area. Did I hear you imply that they don't deserve death? Yeah, you don't seem evil at all. An eye for an eye. His character is so silly though. Extermination is entertainment. Extermination is entertainment. Like you're even literally just saying you just have fun destroying souls and killing people. Like and you're like, yeah, we're good. We're good guys. We've never made a mistake. But we'll be back in six months. Oh six months. Oh, so it's changed from yearly to six months? Okay, well, that meeting could have gone a lot better. Hey, I hope she at least has a nice ad when she comes back. Uh, they sure did. Oh God, don't lie. Be honest, man. She needs to stop beating around the bush so much. She needs to like be upfront because these people are at least vaggy. They're trying to help, right? So how are they going to be able to effectively help if you aren't giving them full information? You all made a new one? Yeah. Oh, she wanted to be involved. Oh, okay, she's happy I about it. say so myself. That. Aw. That's amazing. <laughs> For a second, I thought she was going to be sad that she like missed out on the experience, but it actually seems like she's touched that they put in so much effort and she's almost like, oh, you guys do care. That's amazing. Shh, it's starting. Oh, Welcome. Please be good. Oh. oh my God. Alistair was like glitching or something. We have just received word from the heaven embassy oh, no. that the next extermination is happening sooner than ever. Right, yeah, they did change it to six months. It means we're all royally fucked. Yeah. <laughs> 
Everyone's panic. Oh my god, there's like a big countdown with it. Oh, that's horrifying. Are they gonna say specifically because of Charlie? We found the body, sir. Whoa. We never managed to kill one of An us. angel died. We should just go down there now and destroy them. No, no. What, kill everyone? When we come back, there won't be a demon left alive. Oh my god. So their plan is to exterminate literally everyone. Oh my god. I really thought that there was going to be a little more. Well, uh, that is certainly a tense place to leave things. Like I said before, the story is definitely not telling us that the angels are the good guys, but my lord, how do they think that they're the good guys? How do you get to the point where you're like, oh yeah, we've slaughtered like countless of them, absolutely destroyed their souls, you know, we constantly exterminate them every year. Are oh, they killed one of ours? One? And they said that's never happened before, so that's one ever to countless other human souls. And you're like, well, well, they've, they've killed one of us. That means all of them must die. By that same logic, does that mean all of the angels deserve to die for all the pain they've inflicted? It's just, anyway, I mean, I'm getting riled. Okay, I'm getting angry on behalf of- I'm defending demons! I mean, anyway, what- I, I feel like that's literally like the intended complexity of this show. It seems to be all about grey areas and that things aren't just always black and white. Anyway, I hope you all want me to do more videos watching the rest of these episodes because that's just gonna happen. Anyway, so if you all don't want to watch them and I'm like, I'ma do it, then that could be awkward. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.